AED defibrillators, understanding how AEDs work. The human heartbeat is powered by chemical impulses pr produced by special cells called pacemaker cells. These cells are often affected by external stimuli, medication, stress, and physical activity, just a few things that change the body chemistry, altering chemical impulses, increasing or decrease heartbeat. In one of the most well-known and often misunderstood external stimuli is defibrillation. Defibrillation is the administration of a jolt of electricity to the heart, which depolarizes the heart muscle and allows the heart's natural pacemaker to potentially reset and continue beating. Defibrillation is performed by devices called defibrillators, which vary in design and ability. Currently, the familiar TV show and movie trope of defibrillator paddles being used on flatlining patients is outdated. More commonly, defibrillation will occur via the prophylactic nodes, which are attached to the chest of the patient and also used to monitor heart rate. These nodes deliver shocks when a shockable heart rhythm occurs. Unlike TV shows, a shocked patient does not convulse. Usually there is only a small amount of muscle contraction throughout the body. Also, unlike media portrayals, a flatline is usually an unshockable rhythm. Ventricular fibrillation is a shockable heart rhythm and is when the ventricles quiver rather than work in a pattern. Ventricular tachycardia, another shockable rhythm, is an extremely fast rhythm in which there is a loss of pulse. Certain types of cardiac arrhythmias may not be shockable depending on severity and rhythm type. Defibrillator devices in hospitals are usually not completely automatic, but are very similar to the completely automatic AEDs by Cardiac, Zoll, Philips Heartstar, and Samaritan. The Cardiac Science PowerHeart G3 portable AED defibrillator is designed to be easy to use in an emergency cardiac arrest situation. The PowerHeart portable automatic external defibrillator features a text screen convenient for no noisy and chaotic environments, which run in tandem with voice prompts. The device displays the patient's heart rate, the waveform, number of shocks delivered, and the elapsed time. The PowerHeart defibrillator features built-in automatic synchronization and pacemaker pulse detection. The Zoll AED Plus is a unique unit in that it, complete, it is completely automatic, but it also is the only full rescue AED, walking the user through the full chain of survival by supporting CPR. Not only does the Zoll AED Plus track a shockable heartbeat, it also tracks chest compressions by the rescuer and advises on pace and compression strength. The Zoll AED Plus provides real CPR help, providing visual and audio feedback and instructions. The Heartstar on-site AED likewise provides audible commands when in use and walks the rescuer through potential defibrillation if a shockable rhythm is detected. The Samaritan PAD, Public Asset Access Defibrillator, AED is especially designed for public access use. All of these AEDs use verbal and visual prompts to guide the rescuer. The AEDs let the rescuer know when to touch and when not to touch the patient. If a shock is required, there will be a visual cue. 